January of 2022, MTP Connect, the Australian Growth Centre for the Medical Technologies, Biotechnology and Pharmaceutical Sector, uh, established two new virtual research centres in Australia, one for diabetes complications and one for cardiovascular disease related complications. This $20 million investment was made possible by the Australian Government and its Medical Research Future Fund and the program, the Targeted Translation Research Accelerator for Diabetes and Cardiovascular Disease. This is a new approach to medical research in Australia. What we're doing is bringing together over 100 partners across universities, medical research institutes, clinical and health networks and industry and advocacy groups, all coming together, backed by additional funding and resources, to work towards the same common goal, and that is improving outcomes for people living with diabetes and cardiovascular disease, as well as their families. ACARDI, the Australian Centre for Accelerating Diabetes Innovations, and ASHRA, the Australian Stroke and Heart Research Accelerator, would rapidly translate innovations towards clinical practice. And what we're really excited about is following these 31 research projects already underway here in Australia. ASHRA stands for Australian Stroke and Heart Research Accelerator. It's a new virtual collaborative centre with the goal of creating a new sector-wide focus to how we translate cardiovascular science into improved cardiovascular outcomes with specific focus on coronary heart disease, heart failure and stroke. With ASTRA what we do have is this great opportunity to bring a number of centres together from across the country and across the translational spectrum. The idea of developing new diagnostics for heart failure is very important. And what we're going to do in this project is work with an industry partner, ESN Clear, and we're going to use a saliva-based diagnostic. And if we can develop that saliva test at scale, I can go out into regional areas hundreds of kilometres away and get to people where the unmet need is greater. We thought that a shared leadership model was really important because it forces us to collaborate across our sector. It's not the easiest model for us to implement with respect to leadership, but it does demonstrate how important we see real collaboration is. ASHRAE realised to change the culture, sometimes it's easier to, to grow it and therefore our focus on supporting early to mid-career researchers seemed highly important. We have a large training program that will train multiple cardiovascular researchers as well as partners in translational science and acceleration into commercialisation. But there's also much to be learned about how we can respond to inequalities in cardiovascular outcomes through our work focused on Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities and also communities in regional and remote Australia. What we're trying to establish is a way in which Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, researchers, clinicians can gain the benefit of engaging with expertise right across the country in academic institutions and clinical networks as part of the ASHRA family, but also that individuals within mainstream services or academic institutions can come and learn directly in partnership with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people where they live so that they can develop skills that will make a difference to all Australians' lives. Diabetes has a major impact on people living with the condition. They have to think about uh, their diabetes on a day-to-day -day basis. That is a major burden for the individual, as well as their families and their carers. And diabetes leads to complications. It is a leading cause of end-stage kidney disease, requiring transplantation and dialysis. It is a leading cause of foot ulcers, leading to amputations. And it's also the leading cause of blindness as well. It's a major contributor to ischemic heart disease, stroke and cardiovascular death. ACARDI brings together a diverse group of researchers, scientists, engineers across the country. Each of the 18 projects can ultimately be supported and will also train the next generation of clinicians, researchers, scientists to really also think about commercialisation as well. Our projects span everything from novel diagnostics and therapeutics across behavioural interventions and into devices and even artificial intelligence. What we're looking at in ACARDI is a new therapeutic where we hope to stop the development of type 1 diabetes by targeting a very special group of cells called immune cells or T cells, which is responsible for fighting bacteria and viral infections. And we're going to be working with both international and Australian industry to bring this new therapy towards the clinic. We want to rally everybody together in diabetes to make sure that everybody has a voice and we can all turn our heads towards solving the very complex problems 
problems which we face in diabetes. Diabetes affects the Indigenous community across the whole lifespan. So it can begin through pre-birth with increased rates of gestational diabetes uh, to earlier onset of the disease at a younger age, then poorer health throughout the adult years and then an earlier death. Yeah, the exciting thing is Akadi is, is really focusing on some of the more complex diabetes complications like diabetic kidney disease, diabetic foot ulcers, neuropathy, and also uh, things like hyperglycemia and other more acute emergencies. What we've already seen in the Aboriginal community is when community have access to quality programs and good support, then they do get these great outcomes. On top of this, the centres will share their knowledge and train and mentor the next generation of diabetes and cardiovascular disease researchers and clinicians to continue the work that started today. We look forward to the research centres building new partnerships and international collaborations, and ultimately driving these extraordinary innovations from the bench to the bedside and producing real change for patients and their families.